Hello everybody and welcome back to PGG. I play four new games in the Xbox Game Pass every month and eliminate one each week until we have the winner, my personally recommended game of the month. Keep in mind, these are only my opinions. Last week I introduced the four games, Noah Prophet, Carrion, Spiritfarer, and Creature in the Well, and then took a brief overview of them. Today, I'm going to eliminate the first of the games. Starting off the video with Nowhere Profit, Nowhere Profit is a turn-based card combat game in the simplest terms. As you lead your people through the wastes, you may come across a band of savage raiders or wandering traders, maybe even a couple of crazy robots. It's across the board. This game really draws me in. I get genuinely excited whenever I play this game. If something happens in the heat of battle and you die, you'll have to restart the game. You lose all the characters, supplies, and any other stats you might have gamed in the playthrough. This can be frustrating at times. In my most recent playthrough, I got all the way to the end of the first level, and the final boss kinda took a dump on me. It wasn't my brightest hour, I will say that. This might just be me, but whenever I lose the game and have to restart, it really just inspires me to keep going. I can then see what I did wrong and what to fix. I don't know, it might just be me, but I really love this game. Next on our list, Carrion. Carrion is a reverse horror game. Most of the game you're playing as the biomass creature created for war, but sometimes it switches from monster to human. Once you get to a certain point, you'll switch places and play as a human who's trying to investigate what happened and how the creature broke out. I thought this was a genius move. As I said last week, my only problem with the game is that the vents and destructible walls blend in too much with the environment. This wouldn't be a problem, but the fact is that these vents and destructible walls are the only way to progress in the story. This can make it hard to move forward. Especially if you don't know this, you always have to be looking for walls and vents. Always. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of time filtering over the same hunk of metal. As I said last week, I did some more research and discovered the meaning of Thunder Lotus calling their game Spiritfarer, a cozy management game about dying. This is what they said. Once you have your boat, it's time to find the spirits of the deceased and care for them until they are finally ready to go to the afterlife. For many, this involves completing some unfinished business, getting closure, and facing their fears. As Stella helps her passengers get ready to face the inevitable, she'll befriend them, give them food and hugs when necessary. Now it all makes sense. In Spiritfarer, you're basically helping the ghosts get ready to pass away. I didn't realize any of this when I played it, because nobody looked off or anything like a ghost. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some brighter things. Uh, I uh, figured out how to fish. Okay, not much has happened. I've explored more of the sea and opened up larger parts of the map. Other than that, I figured out how to fish. And last on our list, Creature in the Well. Creature in the Well is a dungeon crawler puzzle game. You're wandering your way through this mountain trying to solve these puzzles. I don't know who put these puzzles here, it could be someone a long time ago, or it could be the cat skeleton thing that hides in the shadows deep beneath this mountain. This was never explained, and it just kind of makes the game a little weak. I have to go through these things, can I at least know who drops them here so I can find and kill them when the game is over? I mean honestly, I hate going through these little puzzles, and especially never seeing who put them here. I bet this is explained further in the story, but I'd like to know this sooner in the game. As I said last week, this game has by far the best soundtrack, it's just beautiful. It's elimination time! Comment down below which game you think will be eliminated. The game that will be eliminated is... Creature in the Well. I had said that this game had a unique art style and an amazing soundtrack. Now why would I eliminate it? Here are the reasons. First up, it's a puzzle game. Solving puzzles is the only thing you do. From what I've seen and played, there aren't any shops or something other than puzzles. It's just puzzles. In my head, this would be a good game to play when you've got nothing to do and want something simple. I want something unique, has a good amount of story, 
and has a good concept. This game just lacks a story. Also, Creature and Will just left the Game Pass on September 1st, 2020. So if you're wanting to play this game, you won't find it on the Game Pass. The game leaving has nothing to do with it being eliminated, it just lacked the story that was needed to keep it alive. It wasn't eliminated because it was taken off the Game Pass. Alright, that's the first elimination week of September. Next week will be the final elimination week, so stick around to find out which of these games will move on to compete for my personally recommended Game of the Month. Post the next video Sunday, 12pm Central Standard Thanks Time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and remember, life is short, play great games.